that is something that is that is going to manifest when the time is right okay and this ace of pentacles down here this manifestation of a new opportunity in some kind of partnership or or relationship with someone else that you have been that you have, that you want to make right that you want to work on but you're beginning to think it's an overinvestment of time and effort right but spirit comes in with temperance and says be tempered be tempered it's not right right now to the three of wands in reverse lack of foresight you don't see what we see Hi, Taurus. It's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How are you? It's been a minute, right? It's been a minute, but I'm back and I'm back full force and I'm back permanently and regularly, right? If you guys want to hang around to the end of the video, we'll do some chit chat and I'll kind of tell you sort of how things have been going with me and why I've been gone so long and all of that good stuff. But I'm back with a vengeance and I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Let's do a general reading for the sign of Taurus. Taurus, um, you can watch the Pisces video. Pisces, you can watch the Taurus video because I am Taurus sun, Pisces moon, and Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, okay? So for whatever reason, what comes out of me will oftentimes resonate with Pisces and Taurus. So y'all are interchangeable. So that being said, this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. What does that mean? Well, that means that you very well may see a thread of your life in this reading. But just like you are an individual and I am an individual, so are the journey of our lives. And each and every circumstance, situation, and person in your life is different from everybody else. So just because you see a general overall theme like the weather cast, right? A general forecast, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's about you and your area, okay? So if you see something in this reading that you would like confirmation, clarity, understanding, wisdom, or guidance about, please do get your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. And if I don't float your boat, by all means, have your cards read by somebody who does. Okay. All right. Let's hop into this. Um, if y'all want to stay around to the end, I'm going to do some chit chat, let y'all know how I've been doing, what's been going on and uh, where I'm at and what all this crazy background is, right? What is this? Right. All right. If you're new to this channel, Welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. We're about to throw down some deep thoughts about your life through the tarot cards. So pull up a chair, hunker down, settle in, get you something to drink, something to smoke, something to kick your feet up on, and let's hop into some serious deep thoughts about your life. Let's do it. All right. All right. Spirit. Oh, I will leave a timestamp, okay? If y'all don't like the channeling part, just look for the little timestamp. It'll probably be up here somewhere. And uh, you can just fast forward straight through to the actual reading, okay? All right, let's do this. So let me get comfortable. Hold on. Spirit. Whoa. Wanting to talk. Spirit. Source. Universal energy. Got the moon card on the table. <laughs> and the four of pentacles in reverse. All right. Spirit. Source universal energy. What is it that Taurus needs to know? What do you want Taurus to know? The general message for Taurus. What do you want Taurus to know, Spirit? What's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? Spirit, what is coming towards Taurus? And what is it that you want Taurus to know? Spirit, please arrange yourself the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Taurus the messages that Taurus needs to know. As always, Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Please give me eyes to see and ears to hear. They want to talk so badly. Please give me eyes to see and ears to hear what it is you want Taurus to hear. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle two more times. I'll cut three times and I will pull directly off the top. If you can please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring the messages to Taurus that they need to hear. 
Amen. Ready? Let's go. One, two, and three. Right on. Two and three. Bottom of the deck. The three of pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration, and justice is right underneath it. All right. Let's see what we get. First card out, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do this kind of kind of differently because I'm recording up here so I can do the picture and picture over here so you can see the cards. But because my setup in my new place isn't exactly the way that it needs to be, I'm not sure I'm capturing everything up here. So I'm going to go like this <laughs> as we go through. First card out, Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is either financial setbacks or an overinvestment of time and effort. To the Nine of Swords, Anxiety and Despair. The Ace of Pentacles, the Manifestation of a New Beginning. The Prince of Swords in Reverse. This is either impulsiveness, a need for responsibility, irresponsibility. Um, sometimes it's about a disregard for consequences. The World in Reverse. This is something that needs to be realigned so you can have closure. The Moon. All up in your feels, all up in your emotions, trying to feel your way through this situation. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. The Ace of Swords in the center of your spread. This is about truth and clarity and honesty. The Three of Swords, painful separation, grief, sorrow. A lot of people mistake this card for being in your feels. This card is in your mental. It is swords, which represents the air, right? This is in your mind. Grief, painful separation, and sorrow. Death in reverse. This is either a resistance to change or some kind of personal transformation. The Four of Pentacles. This is a card about... Um, being comfortable but almost too comfortable it's it's we'll explain it as we go okay the high priestess in reverse ignoring your intuition possibly a secret of some sort whoo to the devil we'll see what all that's about stands for toxicity it is the alternate lovers card right because not all love relationships are rainbows and roses um uh, most love relationships have some kind of toxicity some kind of of little well, something something attached to them the devil is also about an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth as well the ace of wands in reverse this is frustration delays a lack of motivation to the alchemist, the magician, manifestation, the six of wands in reverse, fall from grace, a state of disrepute, the king of cups, some love, some feelings, prince of pentacles in reverse, stuck like Chuck for a long time, princess of wands in reverse, delays and frustration, Ooh, the six of cups, this is either family, children, home, nostalgia, memories, or it's about reuniting and reconciling your differences with someone from your past. The three of wands in reverse. This is about a lack of foresight, um, obstacles to the long-term goals. Prince of wands, some kind of inspired action. Ooh, to the empress. This is you, Taurus. Hey, hey. Queen of cups. Mm, we have the king down here. Now we have the queen. Some kind of feels of some sort doesn't necessarily mean it's love, right? We will figure all of this out when we go through it. The Seven of Cups in reverse. This is illusion, fantasy, diversionary tactics. The Chariot rolling forward. The Seven of Wands, some kind of challenge. The Ten of Pentacles. This is foundation. This also represents home, family, and structure as well. To the king of pentacles this is also the card of taurus but it doesn't necessarily mean that this is talking about you the king of pentacles is husband material relationship material the king of pentacles is someone with long-term goals right someone that has their shit together 
oh yeah, I swear, if that makes you uncomfortable, now is a really good time to swing a left because yeah, you'll probably be uncomfortable, okay? So the King of Pentacles. Let's see, we have the Five of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Prince of Cups in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, the Two of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Princess of Swords, the Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Okay, so the story just basically keeps repeating itself here. So we're going to stop with that king of pentacles and we're going to clarify and sew together this story ready let's do it all right all right so let me let me take a look at this remember i'll put a timestamp if y'all don't like all this okay all right so the nine of pentacles in reverse this is either financial setbacks or an overinvestment of time and effort to the nine of swords lots of despair about the Ace of Pentacles. So Spirit, tell me what the Nine of Pentacles is about. The Three of Cups in reverse, stifled creativity to the Nine of Cups, emotional satisfaction, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Okay, so an overinvestment of time and effort, stifled creativity to get what you want. Okay the nine well tell me spirit what is it that tort whoa temperance flies out and says just wait well that's major arcana that spirit saying hold up just wait just wait just wait and i'm not going to take those other three cards because temperance really was the one that wanted to be seen here okay okay to the nine of swords lots of despair lots of anxiety Tell me about the Nine of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Challenges with the Seven of Wands. What's the challenge, Spirit? Despair because of a challenge trying to manifest the Ace of Pentacles. The challenge is building, engaging, growing something with the Eight of Pentacles. So you're having a hard time manifesting this Ace of Pentacles right here. Tell me about the Ace Oh, Nelly. Tell me. Well, let's see what we got here. Okay. 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 To the Ace of Pentacles, trying to manifest a new opportunity. To the Two of Cups in reverse, out of something that has emptied, out of something that that um, once was beneficial, uh, some kind of a relationship, once that was beneficial, um, is now imbalanced and possibly disconnected. The Two of Pentacles, trying to balance things out. To the Chariot, trying to move forward to the tower, okay, some kind of upheaval, to the king of cups, okay, all right, let's see, the prince of swords in reverse, there was some kind of impulsiveness that broke this union here, what is the prince of swords in reverse about, what is the prince of swords in reverse about? What is the Prince of Swords in Reverse about? Spirit, what is the Prince of Swords in Reverse about? What is the Prince of Swords in Reverse? Oh, justice. Some kind of justice to the impulsiveness. Okay. What else do you have to say here, Spirit? King of Swords in Reverse. Okay. Justice to hurt. Okay. The world in Reverse. Tell me about this. Tell me about the world in reverse. Need some healing and some closure from the devil and judgment. Okay, so healing and closure. Let me sit up straight. Healing and closure, the devil, judgment, four of swords to the nine of swords in reverse. Okay, understood. You might not understand yet, but I understand. And we're going to go back and read this all the way through from the top, okay? Then we have the moon in your feels to the nine of cups 
in your feels about the Seven of Swords. Betrayal, deception, shady behavior, somebody trying to get away with something to the Nine of Cups. And there may be an extended reading attached to this. We'll just see how things go, okay? The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled to the Five of Swords. Actually, this Five of Swords goes to that Seven of Swords. Okay, so trying to feel your way through. What are the wishes fulfilled right here? What is this about and the truth that comes after it? What is wishes fulfilled and the truth that comes after it, Spirit? What is the Nine of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving? Well, how? To the star, hope faith, purpose, and renewal. Okay, so that would be your wishes fulfilled, right? To give and receive and to have renewal. But the truth is, in the center of this spread, let's see, we have the four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, 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 it's just not happening. What's the truth here? What is the truth? What is the truth in the center of this spread? Spirit, what is the truth in the center of this spread? The truth is the four of wands and the hangman. The truth is you're waiting for this. Okay, you want some clarity about this. Gotcha. Gotcha. To the lovers in reverse and death in reverse. Okay. Okay, okay. There's resistance, right, on somebody's end here. The Three of Swords to the Two of Swords. Death in Reverse again. Tell me about Death in Reverse in both aspects here, Spirit. What is Death in Reverse about? What is Death in Reverse about? What is this about? What is this about? What is Death in Reverse about? Yeah, look, the Ten of Swords, right? You are waiting for a transformation. Interesting. Interesting. Yep, the Ace of Wands. Okay. The Four of Pentacles. This card, this Four of Pentacles is about... It's about somebody who's kind of stubborn, honestly. It's it's about somebody who somebody who is okay, right? They're okay sitting where they are. They have four pentacles, right? They have enough to be okay, right? And if they risk reaching out for anything more than the four that they have, they risk losing one if not all of everything that they have because you see it's a white knuckle grip across his chest there is two under his feet and one on his head and he's sitting on the top of a hill it reminds me of san francisco but he's sitting on top of a hill right and if he moves in any way whatsoever he's going to lose what he has so the question is do i move to get better or do I just stay with what I already have? And that's the question, because it's clarified by the Knight of Wands, inspired action, right? Interesting. 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 Okay, so, okay, so inspired action to the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles, please. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles, please. Please tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Yep, the world to the Four of Cups to the Queen of Cups. You waiting on something, Taurus. You are. You're waiting on something. The High Priestess. Whoa. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Ah, they fell. Damn. Damn. Oh, there's just so many. Hold on. Let me find this card right here. Ah, got it. Okay. All right. The high priestess in reverse. Tell me about this. What is the intuition? What is the intuition that's being ignored right here? What is the intuition that's being ignored? The ten of pentacles in reverse. Loss. Tell me. 
the Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups to the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Okay. The Devil. Tell me about the devil. I think this is representing your attachment to this situation that you're not willing to let go of and you're trying so hard to manifest. Yeah, the page of swords to the three of swords in reverse, the six of swords in reverse to the hierophant in reverse. Okay, understood. Ace of wands in reverse, the alchemist. What is manifesting? What is manifesting right here? What is manifesting? Whoa. Yeah, not real optimistic it's ever going to happen. Okay, let's see these cards off to the side here. Okay, the Six of Wands in reverse. Because of what's going on, the King of Cups um, to the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Actually, I want to know about this King of Cups right here. What is this King of Cups about? Because we have the King of Cups, right? The King of Cups is about emotional control emotional stability it's about love right it's about emotions what is this about right here what is the king of cups about right here what is the king of cups about right here what is the king of cups about yeah okay okay so this is okay gotcha prince of pentacles in reverse been a long time Princess of Wands in reverse, frustration and delays when it comes to reuniting and, okay, a lack of foresight. The Prince of Wands, this inspired action. What is this about? Inspired action to the Empress. What is the Prince of Wands about? Okay. Okay, Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. The High Priestess in reverse and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so some kind of communication to the Empress, which puts you back on top, to the Queen of Cups and fills you with love. Okay, Seven of Cups in reverse. Uh, illusion? Fantasy? Tell me about the Seven of Cups in reverse, please. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Ooh, the Six of Cups. Okay, okay. Okay, what else? And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, to the Chariot. Mood taking action. Okay, is the challenge. The Ten of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Tell me about this, please. Tell me about this. King of Wands in reverse. To the Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. Page of Wands. Okay. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Anything else? Nothing else. Nothing else. Going once. Going twice. There's one. The wheel in reverse. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. I'm just giving up. All right. Okay, Taurus, let's take it from the top. The timestamp will be up over here somewhere. Let's just take it from the top, okay? All right. So, Taurus, this is what's going on. Here we go. Ready? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You are beginning to think that something is an overinvestment of your time and effort overinvestment of your time and effort to the three of cups in reverse stifled creativity right nothing is happening here and you're beginning to think you know wow maybe 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 this just isn't going to happen the nine of cups right wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction you want this you want this to happen right whatever this is for you you're beginning to give up on the hopes that this will ever manifest for you. The Nine of Cups, right? Your wishes fulfilled. This is what you want. This is your wishes fulfilled, whatever this is for you. And Spirit comes in with temperance and says, just hold on. Just wait. Balance, patience, purpose, moderation. 
yeah, look to the three of wands in reverse because you have a lack of foresight. So spirit is saying, so Taurus is saying, I, this is an overinvestment of my time and effort. Um, I really, really want this to make, but it just doesn't seem like it's ever going to. And I just really, I think I'm going to give up on this whole thing. But spirit comes in with temperance and says, don't give up. Don't give up to the three of wands in reverse because you have a lack of foresight. You don't see what we see. So, so don't, don't quite throw in the towel just yet. Taurus comes back with the nine of swords. This is just anxiety and despair. You're like, oh, this is just never going to happen for me. It's just never going to happen for me. I am super challenged to the eight of pentacles. I am super challenged about being able to to work on something or build something in the realm of the ace of pentacles, in the realm of manifesting a new opportunity. A new opportunity where there was an imbalance in a relationship in my life in the past and it has disconnected, right? The two of pentacles. I would like to prioritize it. I would like to balance all of this out. I would like to make it right and good and engage with it once again. The chariot. This is major arcana. This is spirit saying action movement um your spiritual path quite frankly the chariot is about your spiritual path so with it being major arcana this is spirit speaking this is spirit saying to move forward in your spiritual path which is this situation that's why you can't let it go okay now there's a difference taurus between obsessing about someone or something that is completely and totally um 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 what's the word i'm looking for that is completely and totally um not I forgot what I was thinking about. Um, that is completely and totally not going to happen in your life, okay? If you are lamenting about um, an ex-boyfriend that is now married with children, right? It's a waste of your time and effort to lament about that. If you are lamenting about a house that you sold that you wish you wouldn't have sold, you know, that's kind of a done deal, right? That's, that's, that's kind of a done deal. But this particular situation, when something is, is constantly nagging at you, constantly nagging at you, and I mean organically, not because you've Fuel yourself with false hope by binge watching YouTube tarot card readings. Not because you fill your energy with this thing or this person by stalking Facebook and constantly asking and sitting outside of their house. Not because of obsession, but because of something that is deep down inside, deep down inside, that will not go away. You've blocked it out of your life. You've tried to um, not think about it, not not dwell on it, right? But yet it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back and it keeps coming back. Um, that is something that is your spiritual path. That is something that is that is going to manifest when the time is right. Okay, and this Ace of Pentacles down here, this manifestation of a new opportunity in some kind of partnership or, or relationship with someone else that you have been, that you, have, that you want to make right, that you want to work on, but you're beginning to think it's an overinvestment of time and effort, right? But Spirit comes in with temperance and says, be tempered. Be tempered, it's not right right now. To the three of wands in reverse, lack of foresight. You don't see what we see, okay? Um, to the chariot, when the time is right, everything will fall into order in divine timing. And this is when you will be able to move forward into whatever this is that is your wishes fulfilled the tower 
to the King of Cups. I have to plug my phone in real quick. Hold on a second. Oh, damn it. If I do that, I'm going to lose my light. How bad is it if I lose my light? Hold on a second, Taurus. It's not so bad. That's okay. Okay. Hold on. I had 47% when this started, but I don't know. It's a new phone for me, and I don't know much about it. So let me just... Yay, there we go. Okay. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. I'm going to clarify this tower. So it's tower to the king of cups, right? This is upheaval and chaos and awakening to the page of cups. This is a message of creation. So what this is saying is that the person or the entity that you are waiting on here is either undergoing a tower moment or a tower moment is happening, is going to happen for this situation that brings an awakening to the situation. And there will be a message with the page of cups to you from someone else, from a king of cups, from, from, from whomever. This message is going to bring in emotional control and emotional stability. Look, where there was fear of the unknown, fear of the future, you wanting to give up, to the four of cups in reverse, just thinking it was a missed opportunity and maybe being apathetic and giving up on the situation, right? No, there is victory, progress, and success with the six of wands. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. The Prince of Swords in reverse. Impulsive. Irresponsible. A disregard for consequences. To Justice and the King of Swords in reverse. Let's see about this. Yeah, look. The King of Swords, right? Okay, so where there was no action being taken, okay, where there was no action being, ta being taken, truth is going to come in. Truth is this message of the tower moment back here. Their, their truth is going to come in. It's going to bring justice to the situation. And where there was the king of swords in reverse, no truth, no understanding, no, no nothing, um, there is going to be um, truth spoken. A turning point in the situation, a turning point in your destiny to the nine of cups in reverse, where there was emotional dissatisfaction to the queen of swords. There's now going to be truth spoken and communication. Wow. The world in reverse, this brings you closure, right? It brings you personal closure. This is also about balancing an imbalance, right? Righting a wrong, correcting something that has kept you from moving on in the situation. The devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. To judgment, a decision, the four of swords in your head, the nine of swords in reverse, a painful lesson. Okay, so this devil right here, is the person, is this king of cups, right? It's this king of cups that's bringing in the message. Let me see. Devil. Well, I got one. Yeah, look, the six of swords, right? This regretful but necessary transition out of, out of a, out of this situationship, whatever this is for you, right? So the, this, this devil, which is, which represents the toxicity in this relationship, um, clarified by the leaving of the relationship or the situation, right? Judgment comes in and says, now you're forced with a decision because this person or this situation has returned. Okay. And now you're forced to make a decision with judgment. 
a black and white decision that will change the trajectory of your path. The Four of Swords, contemplating in a defensive posture what your next move is going to be. To the Nine of Swords in reverse. Painful lesson, right? In the past, this was a painful lesson for you. It was. Now you're in the moon energy, right? In the moon energy, thinking, 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 trying to feel your way through this situation because there was the Seven of Swords. <coughs> Betrayal, deception, shady behavior, somebody trying to get away with something. To the Five of Swords, mind games, right? Conflict, betrayal, mind games. So this moon card is representing you in your feelings about why this situation is happening. And you're reflecting on what has happened in the past. To the seven of pentacles in reverse. This is um, limited success or reward, right? Five of pentacles left out in the cold. To the Ten of Swords. But now somebody wants to resurrect this relationship. This thing that you have been waiting on for a good long minute about to give up on. But some kind of tower moment happens and this situation reaches out to you. Truth is exchanged, right? And now you're forced with a decision. Um, maybe it's after you talk to this person, you kind of, sort of see when we, when we're separated from someone or something, this could be a job. I mean, it really, it honestly could be a job, right? When we're separated, um, we tend to think about things, um, through rose colored glasses, like when someone dies, right? Um, I know just for example, my grandpa, um, when he passed on, all anybody can ever talk about is what a wonderful man he was and how great he was and all of the good things that he did for everybody. When in fact, nobody's addressing the fact that he beat his children. Nobody's addressing the fact that he was an alcoholic. Nobody's addressing the fact that he was a womanizer and a cheater. Nobody's addressing all of the bad things that he was. Everybody just remembers the good things. Same thing here, right? As you're trying to, 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 to give up on something that you've wanted for, for a while now, when it comes back in your face, you're like, oh yeah, I remember now. I remember the shit that you did. I remember the workload that you put on me that almost caused a divorce and death. <laughs> I remember now why it didn't work out between us in the first place. And that's what you're doing in the moon energy. You're trying to decide if this is something that you really want back or not. And quite frankly, I don't know. See, the Nine of Cups, at one point, this was your wishes fulfilled. It truly was. To the Six of Pentacles, to give and receive in this situation um, was something that, that you wanted in a bad way. The Star, Major Arcana coming in and saying, now there is hope and faith and purpose and renewal being presented to you in this situation because this is what you wanted right? And now Taurus is taking a step back and saying, wow, now that this is up in my face, do I really want the same shit that I wanted before? I've grown and changed. Do I want this? Hence the four of pentacles in reverse. This is self-protection, right? Wow. Do I really want this? Do I really want this? To the Ace of Swords in the center of your spread. This Ace of Swords is about your truth. It's about your mental clarity. It's about you speaking your truth to yourself. And it's followed by the Three of Swords, right? The truth is, is that this situation cut you to the core, right? You bled about this situation. 
That's the truth. The Four of Wands comes in and says, Harmony, happiness, structure, and stability in this situation is now on offer. The Hangman. Major Arcana saying, Pause. Process. Come out on the other side with a new perspective about what is being offered to you right here. The Lovers in Reverse. Major Arcana Spirit saying, Remember. This was a misalignment of values once before to death in reverse. Is this a resistance to change? Is this spirit saying be resistant? Or is this spirit saying personal transformation? Or is this the personal transformation that you had because of this relationship? Three of Wands to the Lovers to the Six of Pentacles in reverse, to the Magician. Reuniting, getting together and talking about the imbalance in the relationship. Six of Pentacles in reverse, the imbalance in the relationship again. To the Magician in reverse and untapped talents. Okay, so this is a personal transformation, death in reverse. You're deciding that you're going to give it at least a get together, at least a talk, at least a drink, at least a meal, right? You're going to, you're going to give it, you're going to give it uh, an opportunity to manifest. The Magician in reverse talks about untapped talents, right? You're going to see if there's something here worth salvaging. Death in reverse again. This is the personal transformation. The same one that we're seeing here. You're giving this an opportunity. Um, you're giving it an opportunity. The two of swords in reverse. To clear up your confusion about the ten of swords. About why all of this went down in the first place. To the ace of wands. To see if there can be the creation of of an inspired, passionate new beginning between the two of you. The Four of Pentacles. This is you being like I talked about before. Lockdown, right? Lockdown. If you didn't watch the, the, the channeling part of it, I talked about the Four of Pentacles. This is about you wanting to reach out for more, but yet being very cautious that you don't lose any of the footing that you've already gained. Okay? The Knight of Wands taking some inspired action to the world to close out the old cycle and bring in the new cycle. The Four of Cups contemplating, reevaluating the Queen of Cups, your feelings about this situation. The High Priestess in reverse. This is Major Arcana, okay? As was the world, right? That was talking about closure. One way or another, this cycle is completing. It's closing out for you. To the high priestess in reverse. Ignoring your intuition. A secret. Let me, let me ask about this. So tell me about the high priestess in reverse right here. Tell me about the high priestess in reverse, please. What is the... Yeah, ignoring your intuition because it's the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? So ignoring your intuition. Um, Spirit is saying be very careful about that. Be very careful about ignoring your intuition. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Because there was a massive tear in the foundation of this relationship once before. But now there's messages with the Knight of Cups about feelings. There's messages with the Page of Cups about feelings. And the King of Pentacles in reverse with someone that used to hold title in your life but does not anymore. This person is the devil. This person is the person that you see as the King of Cups up here, right? Much love for this person. This person used to hold title in your life, but does not anymore. They're showing up as the devil. Is this an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth? Is this toxicity going to continue, right? Tell me about this devil. Yeah, look. Okay, so this devil... 
um, your challenge is to break free of the mental challenges of the deception from the past, right? To the three of pentacles to get teamwork and collaboration. The page of swords, more communication. This is also about you reevaluating a thought pattern, right? The way that you think about something. To the three of swords in reverse, communication about forgiveness and feelings. The six of swords in reverse. There's a lot of water under the bridge though, Taurus. There's a lot of water under the bridge. To the Hierophant in reverse. Um, this is this is reevaluating the way that you think about something. Interesting. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse, please. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. <laughs> the Eight of Swords to the Devil in reverse, right? So reevaluating the way that you think communication coming in that turns the toxicity into the devil in reverse that turns the toxicity into um releasing limiting beliefs what are the limiting beliefs that this person is still up to shady behaviors tell me about the devil in reverse please tell me about the devil in reverse please Please tell me about the devil in reverse. What is this about? The chariot in reverse. Opposition. Opposition. Abandonment. The queen of pentacles and the page of wands. Okay. 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 So we have the devil, right? This is... This person that used to hold title in your life, but doesn't anymore. The person or the situation, okay? This devil could very well be a former boss, all right? It doesn't have to be a love relationship. Could be family. Could be somebody in your family who did you dirty before, and now they're trying to come back and say, hey, you know what? Let's have a new, let's have a new perspective about things. And you're like giving it the old fish eye, right? You're like, hmm, I don't know right? You wanted it, but now that it's here, I don't know. So the devil, right? Um, the toxicity, the seven of swords in reverse, breaking free from those kind of mental challenges to the three of wands. I'm sorry, the three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration, page of swords, messages, three of swords in reverse about forgiveness, um, the six of swords in reverse, lots of water under the bridge, the Hierophant in reverse, a commitment that you have shaken loose before, once before, reevaluating the way that you think about the whole situation based on some communication about change that helps you release your limiting beliefs about opposition, about disappointment, and puts you in the position of the Queen of Pentacles, which is someone who is being invited to hold title again via the Page of Wands. Inspired, passionate messages. Exploration and discovery. This is you thinking about explore, exploring this situation. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is um, delays and frustration. It's taken a long time to the alchemist for this to manifest in your life. To the sun in reverse. And you're not real optimistic about the outcome. Six of Wands in reverse. A fall from grace. A state of disrepute. To the king of cups where there used to be a lot of love. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the, the inability to manifest to the night to the eight of cups in reverse and inability to manifest in feelings of loss and regret and abandonment, right? Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck like this for a long time. Princess of Wands in reverse, delays and frustration. To the six of cups about reuniting and reconciling with someone from your past. Three of Wands in reverse, lack of foresight, right? 
lack of foresight. This same three of wands is this same three of wands up here, right? In the very beginning of the reading, Taurus is like, I'm giving up on this. It's an overinvestment of time and effort. I just don't have it in me to want this anymore. And spirit came in with temperance and said, hold up, hold up. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Three of wands in reverse, right? You have a lack of foresight and you don't know what is happening. What happened? This person is undergoing a tower moment, okay? Some kind of upheaval and chaos in this person's life is giving them an awakening and they're going to come towards you, okay? This three of wands down here, exactly the same situation. Exactly the same situation, right? There's been delays and frustration um, in manifesting this. You're not real optimistic about it. Fall from grace, a state of disrepute to the king of cups it was somebody that you had an immense amount of feelings involved with. Page of pentacles in reverse to the eight of cups. A lack of manifestation, abandonment issues, stuck like Chuck for a long time, frustration and delays when it comes to reuniting and reconciling this situation. Three of wands in reverse. Hold up. Lack of foresight, right? To the Prince of Wands, because now there's inspired action being taken in this situation. To the Ten of Cups, that brings in happiness and harmony into the situation. The Queen of Wands in reverse. To the Queen of Pentacles. To the High Priestess in reverse. To the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay? So, so where your needs were not being met at all with the queen of wands in reverse now you have an opportunity to be the queen of pentacles now you have an opportunity to be the queen of pentacles the high priestess in reverse ignoring your intuition being disconnected from this person to the five of pentacles and left out in the cold the Eight of Wands, everything changes now and puts you in the power of the Empress and the Queen of Cups. The Empress and the Queen of Cups puts you in the position of being in control, in control of your feelings. Let me clarify this real quick. Hold on. Queen of Cups. Look, the Hierophant, right? Because commitment is now being offered. So the Empress is representing you getting your wishes fulfilled. The Queen of Cups is you is representing you getting your emotions fulfilled because there is now commitment being offered on the table. Seven of Cups in reverse, fantasy, illusion, illusion to the Six of Cups, to reunite and reconcile with this person, to the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, you, 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 you over investment of time and effort, giving up on things. The Chariot comes in and says, now, now, move forward. Now it's time to roll. Now it's time to roll. Remember the Chariot was up here and I told you that the Chariot represents your spiritual path. Things were not in alignment up to this point. And now the chariot, the same chariot, is coming and moving forward with the situation. The seven of wands, challenge, challenge to the ten of pentacles and the king of cups. What is the challenge? The challenge is, the challenge is that you're dealing with the King of Wands in reverse, right? Self-centered, egocentric person to the Two of Wands in reverse, where there was fear of the unknown um, with this person, right? But now the Ten of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Now this person is coming at you and saying, I want you to hold title in my life. I want to hold title in your life. Let's get together. Let's have commitment. Let's be a couple. Let's build something together. 
to the page of wands. Explore, discover. Let's do this, right? Let's do this to the wheel of fortune in reverse. This is critical self-analysis that brings closure to the situation, that brings closure to your challenge, your challenge being that you thought this was never going to happen to the Knight of Cups, right? Love, Knight in shining armor, the sharing of feelings between family members, between um, a boss and an employee. This is being in touch with your emotions and in touch with your intuition and willing to move forward in this situation. What else? Anything else you want to say? Yeah, the burden and struggle that you've had with this has now reached accomplishment. Anything else? The moon, right? Your emotions, feeling your way through. Anything else? Anything else? Interesting. Okay. Um, well, let me just get one final, one final card. One final card, spirit. One final card. Okay, two. Two final cards. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess. Very nice, right? Very nice. The spiritual connection is restored. The Ten of Cups, happiness, harmony, King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Interesting. I want to ask a question here. Let me get my handy dandy dice. Spirit, in weeks or months, when is this person going to have um, the tower moment? When is this person, no spirit, when is this person going to reach out to Taurus? In weeks or months, spirit, when is this person going to reach out to Taurus? I have a four and a three um, that puts us seven, July, seven weeks or the month of July. So let's go seven weeks would be, um, what are we, the middle of June? So the middle of July would be four weeks. So we're looking at like the second week of August, right? Or seven, the month seven. Um, hopefully it won't be seven months from now. <laughs> but I think we're talking about either July or the beginning of August, okay? Awesome. Um I'm going to do an extended reading. I want to know what this tower moment is. I want to know how things are going to shake down between you. I want to know how this is all going to happen. So I am going to do um, an extended reading and uh, the link will be in the box below. So Taurus, that was your reading. 